Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today we're taking a look at a few things that Hashrate.co.za sent us. Hashrate.co.za, your one-stop online shop for all your mining components. They are a crypto mining store based in South Africa that supplies PCI risers, thermal pads, pre-built mining rigs, different type of splitter cables and all other accessories needed to build your mining rig. Let's see what they sent right after our intro. So for our first package, let's see what we have. Okay, so this is a add to PSU multiple power supply adapter and this one has SATA as you can see over there and what this allows you to do is add two power supplies to one mining rig. So it's quite simple to install. Second power supply plugged in over there and your first power supply SATA connector over there just to power on your second power supply and this is just the relay so that's our first item let's take a look and see what our second item is okay don't know if you can see that so this is a display port dummy adapter and these are used with the RTX 3060 graphics cards. And this is to simulate a monitor plugged into your graphics card. Okay. That's our second item. Taking a look at our third item. So with a mining rig, you require more than one fan. This connector allows you to connect eight case fans or server fans to one power connector. You've got eight three pin connectors that you can control with one connector. This is quite helpful if your motherboard doesn't support or have fan headers for your case or rig. So you use a Molex connector from the power supply and you connect all your fans to this little device and you power all of your fans with this device. Okay, and I see it's got a little toggle for low, off and high, which is actually quite good. It does have an LED in the middle as well, just to let you know if it's on or not. This is actually a nice little device because you can't actually control your fan speed with your motherboard. There's only one speed. The low speed is actually for 5 volt and the high speed is for 12 volt. And then you can actually switch it off as well. Really good device. I will go through all the pricing of each of the components uh, once I've reviewed all of them. This is actually a nice little device. I'm actually going to get me one of these. Need one of these actually. Okay, so looking at our fourth component. We've got a another dummy port and this is an HDMI port. I don't know if you can see that. HDMI. And this is just to simulate a monitor plugged into your graphics card. These you use for the 3060 graphics cards as well. And these achieve full resolution when using remote access applications like TeamViewer. HDMI version supports up to 4K, which is 3840 by 2160 at 60 Hertz. Next up, we've got a another fan controller 
So this is a Molex to 10 times 4 pin power fan splitter hub. This allows you to connect 10 4 pin fans to one device. It's powered by a Molex connector from your power supply. And this 2 pin gets plugged into your motherboard via this cable. And this allows you to control your fan speeds. This device is for 12 volt 4 pin cooling fans. It does have adhesive backing for easy mounting, either on your server case or mining rig. The rear connector is for feedback signal. And we've got individual solid caps per output channel for advanced power regulation. So these little power connectors, there's one for each fan header. And the easy red power indicator LED. And with our last package, let's see what we've got inside. So we've got a riser board, power connector for the riser board, and that's just a six pin to SATA or SATA to six pin. We've got our USB cable and we've got the board that goes into your PCIe slot. Okay, so let's just take a look. So the cable, standard USB 3 cable. Let's take a closer look at this board. So this is a PCIe version 9S Plus and what you'll notice is that it actually has 8 capacitors. The last version I think had 4 and this is for power regulation on the PCIe board. It does require a 6 pin PCIe power connector. It does have 2 LED power indicator lights over there 12 volt and 3.3 volt this one has 8 FP solid capacitors nice thing about this as well it's got an aluminium casing around the PCIe slot okay that's just the latch very good build quality as well so when buying those expensive graphics cards you don't really want to use a cheap PCIe riser and these are pretty good bulbs it does have some padding at the back as well and we'll probably get some of this for our six card mining rig that we are planning to build still deciding on the graphics cards that we need but it looks really good that is the last device. Just a thanks to hashrate.co.za for sending over a few components to review. You will probably see most of these components in our next build. Let's take a look at the pricing of each component. Taking a look at the multiple power supply adapter, this was used to connect two power supplies to one mining rig or server. They're going for 149 Rand and they are currently in stock. Then we have the HDMI dummy plug for your graphics card. They are currently 149 Rand and are currently in stock as well. Next up, we have the DisplayPort dummy plug, and they are currently going for $299. They are currently in stock, and here we can see the supported resolutions with the DisplayPort dummy adapter. Next up, we have the fan expansion hub, and this was the 8x3 pin adapter. This does have a 2 level speed controller as well, which is the low speed 5 volt full speed at 12 volt and it has a power off switch as well 
they currently going for 149 needing more fans in your server we're looking at the fan expansion hub which has 10 times 4 pin fan headers they are going for 249 rand last but not least we have the PCIe riser card this is version 9S plus this is powered with a 6 pin PCIe power connector and it does have 8 solid capacitors not forgetting the metal PCIe slot retention bracket it does come with a SATA 15 pin mail to 6 pin power cable and it is compatible with 1, 4, 8 and 16 speed PCIe slots on the motherboard if you've made it this far on the video much appreciated for the support if you need to get hold of Hashrate please select contact us type in your name, your email address, your telephone number and your message they're really good at responding via email hope you found this video insightful and informative please like subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos thank you for watching catch you on the next video ciao for now